What's good, YouTube family? It's your girl, Raven. And your boy, Jalen. Today, we are watching a Sam and Colby video. It's, we're never coming back to this haunted plantation. First mm -hmm. off, we want to say sorry to you guys for not getting any videos uploaded today. A lot of life stuff was happening, so we had to take a little break. Which, but you guys are very understanding. Yes. We hope, so thank yes. you for being patient with us. Um, and we're also trying to... Uh, schedule these videos a lot smarter now that you guys are back in school because we know a lot of our followers are in school so we are trying to schedule these out the best way that we can possibly mm -hmm. do it that way you get to see it at a good time or be able to watch it at a good time whatever it may be but anyway i'm blabbing listen if you're new hit that subscribe and notification bell that way you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest. And not only that, we have a lot of paranormal activity content that we do on this channel from Sam and Kobe to Omar and other creators that we're gonna be reacting to. So if you like paranormal activity stuff and you can't find a reaction channel that actually reacts to that stuff, you've come to come the right here. place. Thank All you. right. And after you hit that subscribe, you wanna hit that notification bell that way you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest, like she said before. That is the most important. So, with that being said, <laughs> let's get right into this video. Don't you forget. plantation in St. Francisville is one of the most haunted places in Been America. Somebody just touched me. Oh my god! Hey, 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 hey! Yeah, we're not doing that. There we go. go ahead. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's Sam McCauley. Welcome Sam McCauley! Sam McCauley and Hell Week! Today, we are here with Nate and Dad what? and Amanda. And Amanda, the medium. What? is a medium it's like the size right in between small and large Perfect. oh 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 <laughs> funny joke by the way but we will not tolerate any amanda slander on this channel no hate no, no hate. hate no disrespect you can have your opinions but you will articulate yourself respectfully not on this channel on I lose. this channel now i ain't saying there's been some disrespect but a lot of people let us know that she does get disrespected and a lot of hate in Sam and Kobe's comments and possibly her own videos that she does. But here, that changes. We're, we're not doing that here. We're not doing that today. <laughs> if we see it, you ain't even getting a response. You will never see this channel again. Let's get back into it. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds a medium, good. if you guys don't know, is somebody who can connect the spirit realm to the realm that we live on. Oh, yeah. Myrtle's Plantation is known to be one of the most haunted houses in the world. In the world. Are you excited? Dude, I just like every time you guys bring me on one of these. <laughs> I can tell by your genuine face yeah. excitement right now. It's like popping. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh my god, look at the cute. I think it's a real cat. He doesn't have an ear. Wow. Wait, actually? Oh, oh, my, oh god. my god. The main ghost here. Oh my god. What are the odds that they get a cat without an ear? What if what if this that's the Whoa. ghost? Why are you bro, why are you staring at me? He's <laughs> looking at you. Why are you just staring at me? Chica, uh, are you mad? Chica's chilling. You scared him. Because we had to stare off. Like, I was staring deep like into his good, eyes. Like, a good, like, five minutes. I nah, swear. nah, he's just staring at me as I'm watching. Like, don't do that. Uh, uh, I'm watching the Sam and Kobe video. And I know you sense the attachments and whatnot, so stop. Uh, or just, just, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Chloe. Chloe? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> It has a smell to it. Some Probably. kind of smelly oh. smell. Yeah. Oh. Smelly, smelly, smelly smell. smell. That smells smelly. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that oh, episode. I think this is the most famous haunted object yeah, in the Myrtle Plantation. Think. Right here at the front door. And right next to the steps, which is also extremely famous. We'll get to that later. Someone must haunted have fell down on the steps. There's definitely someone here with us. What the fuck? Um, she's closer to you now, but she's like two right over here. And I don't see her anymore, but... She was there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She probably like your height. And I just like madam is all, like all I keep getting. Madam? Like, madam. madam. I'm madam? She's like the madam of the house. Like the woman. Ooh, oh. spirit already seen here at the house? It's been 15 minutes. Dude! Oh my god, this Jeez. is beautiful. Oh my this god, this thing is about to fall off. We're gonna add one more ghost to the plantation right there. Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> 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 Can we walk past the 17th step? No. Oh. 
this. Was that right here too? I think so. Okay, we're gonna get to all of this later, but holy shit. This oh. might be the most haunted area. I just jumped into the deep end. What's that? Hello? What the fuck was that? Huh? This building. Did you not hear that? We should have the entire thing to ourselves, but yeah, there was definitely a footstep over there. Yeah. I heard that. Is, is it place. the floor? Is it like That's when you step, step, like will it? But it was definitely over there. What the fuck are you saying? <laughs> is it doing it? I can't tell, dude. Is it doing it for you? I don't hear anything. <laughs> Something's definitely going on though. Something's happening. <laughs> <laughs> is this one of our rooms? This looks beautiful. Are you in this? I hope not. <laughs> The oh, fuck, oh, bitch! Oh, oh, and it oh, oh that's you. disgusting! What it is that? It follows you. The eyes. It's the eyelashes around no. it. No, oh, God, so, here we go. Holy fuck! Like, what the fuck are we looking at here? I ain't even gonna stare at it, y'all. Oh my God, that's the scariest thing ever. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. And this one and has it's black a sm eyes. Oh my god. Okay, so they're trying to make this place scary. Yo, but these look like normal oh, balls. Oh, they're not. Just like tampered. No, it's these belong in Zag Bam. <laughs> these belong. <laughs> Baggins. <laughs> Baggins. <laughs> in Zag Baggins Museum. Baggins. Yes. Oh my god, I'm gonna have nightmares about that doll. I actually think this might be scarier. That it has is like the so blood oh my seeping god. out of its eyes. Wait. Wait, just like the yellow fever. Like the coagulated blood. Yes. Oh, oh yellow god. fever yeah. was bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was built. That was when yellow fever swept oh, across yeah. Louisiana and killed off like a tenth of the population. Oh my god. One out yeah. of every ten people you knew would have died of yellow fever, and a lot of them were children. And like some of the symptoms yellow been... yellow fever is one of the craziest things that i learned about in um social studies i've heard the word but i don't remember that what it was shit is serious like like intense fever stomach pains and you know just casual throwing up coagulated blood that's gnarly a lot of people on this property like had you're not even throwing up fool you throwing up blood uh, uh, uh. that is like uh. Chills. It's one thing to throw up blood, seeing blood come out, and yeah, no. something's not right. Yeah, no. I gruesome, gruesome deaths. Even like this doll shows bleeding from the eyes. Yellow fever was probably one of the most gruesome deaths, and a lot of it happened here. By the way, guys, we have to sleep here, so someone's getting the fucking bed right next to that creepy doll <laughs> staring at you. What? Oh my god! You guys are gonna walk in on me. I'm gonna sleep like this. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, fully ready. <laughs> ready to go. Oh, this one's beautiful. This that is nice. Smelling Dude, it. the perfume, Roby. Oh you my remember? gosh. Roby literally said sometimes you would be overwhelmed with like a strong like perfume. It's gonna be suffocating. You would smell this heavy perfume just wafting in your nose, and it won't go away. It was the so? high priestess who died or who was murdered. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Holy Scooby. <laughs> a lot of these names you guys don't know. There's a lot of different haunted rooms, and as you can see, this place is giant. What was that? We're gonna go take a tour and tell you a little bit more about the history of this place. My name is Shauna Fahad, I'm a tour guide here at the Myrtles Plantation. All right, it's gonna be super spooky, right? Usually. Yay, <laughs> 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 get the fuck. Hello. Hello. Tonight we are investigating a lot of one of the most haunted places of in course. America. So with about 250 years of history, this place has every story in the book. However, because most of the time it was a slave plantation, a lot of this stuff is not documented or recorded. In the late 1700s, there was a man named Whiskey Dave who came down here from Pennsylvania and built this house. But the legend goes that he built this on a Native American burial ground. Oh, no. It's always a, a grave, always a Cemetery, always something. But it's along always that the Native American, like Lake Lanier, for instance. That is on Native American land. No, I'm, I'm serious. Oh, I thought you were asking me. No, no, no I'm dead serious. I, I didn't like know that. not only that, it's a buried underground city. That I knew, but yeah. I didn't know it was the Native. Oh yeah. That was, the city was built on Native American land. Then they flooded that joint. Jesus. So that is why the little conspiracy that's going around is that a lot of people die in there is, well, besides the Native American land, it's also getting caught in like 
you know, stuff that's down there from the the past city. If y'all don't know where Lake Lanier is, it's in Georgia. Look it up. It's known to have a lot of deaths over there. Dude, um, everyone. Time like, I was living there until. Now. I think recently two or three people died. One got electrocuted. Oh, sorry. Two no, drowned. There's a couple. One got electrocuted. Yeah. One drowned recently. It's like five people. Yeah. Five, six people. All within this year. And people continue to go back right. over there and, and swim. And I just don't understand. You see all these cases, bro. Hey, man. Anyways. Yeah, anyways. They lived here until 1808 when Bradford passed away from natural causes here on the property. A few years into it, his wife, her widow, took over the property, running this place by herself until 1817, when her daughter got married to the gentleman in the portrait in the back corner there. Is that Clark? That's just Clark. Oh, Clark. Oh. Yeah. What? Oh. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, look at those mutton chops. Yeah, those serious chops. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Yo, she broke those out. Oh, yeah, she looked a little sharp. Yep. So he wound up buying it and immediately making changes, increasing the original acreage that Bradford had purchased, which was about 650 acres, all the way up to 2,000 acres. Wow. Oh. Yep, the entire ground. 2,000? On them at all times. Even the newest buildings on the property still get visits from spirits. No. Not only has the Myrtles been considered haunted for over a hundred years, it is also home to one of the most famous ghost pictures ever to be reported in oh. the world. In 1992, the current owner took a picture of the side of the house and caught one of the clearest images ever of a oh, shadow shit. figure. And oh. just for further proof, they sent this picture off to National Geographic to get it authenticated. And it's proved that the photo had not been wow. tampered with. The original picture she caught is this one right up here. You can clearly see the figure that stands right here, which is the walkway we stand beside now. Oh, it's right, right there. there! Right there. Oh. You guys believe this, Chloe? We think so. So let's talk about the most famous ghost here, Chloe. Now she was a slave here on the property and they didn't really keep records of the slaves. So a lot of this is legend. A man named Clark Woodruff, who was the owner of the plantation at the time, was having sexual relationships with ah, a slave named Chloe. Of course. Now, Chloe worked of course. in the house with the owner as a nanny, and so she worked very close with his kids. Chloe really was the perfect choice, honestly. She got along with the children amazingly well. So well that the children wanted to spend more time with her than their own mom. Working in the home is one of the more comfortable mm. positions to have, so Chloe was willing to do anything to try to keep her spot here. She didn't want to lose mm. this position. She didn't want to be Makes sent sense. outside into the fields. Now, in order to keep her job, stay ahead of the game, she would come. eavesdrop to gather information. The more information you had, the easier it was to keep her position. One day, Woodruff was Smart. having a very important business meeting back in our gentleman's parlor. And to separate our two parlors, there are sliding pocket doors which slide out of the wall closed, little keyhole in the middle. Mm -hmm. So Chloe saw this as the perfect opportunity. She'd be able to hide behind the door, nobody would see her, listen in, get some good information, right? So she knelt down against the doors and she placed her left ear up against that keyhole and listened in. Until one of the men inside stood up, opened those doors, and Chloe tumbled into the gentleman's party. <gasps> Damn, Chloe, you she dropped the fucking ball. Yeah. <laughs> this time, Woodruff was furious. He had Chloe dragged out through the parlors and out to our courtyard where he had her no! left ear cut off. No! Oh, he Mike Tysoned her. Oh my god. <laughs> So she started wearing a green head wrap, and she would always drop it below her left ear so that people couldn't see her ear got cut off. That is why people okay. think that the 1992 picture is Chloe. That's oh. one of the worst things in the world is like, especially at this time in That's life. That's terrible. You get your ear cut off. Like, there's nothing that they can really do at that point. Like, that shit is just cut off. Here, at least, you know, they can finagle something. They can try to figure something out for you. But there was no option. She was ah, oh, and just no. That's it. No, you probably didn't get cleaned up or anything. No. She's left like that. Ah, oh, not until later that night. But uh. along with oh. getting her ear chopped off, she was also demoted mm. to the kitchen. Which in Louisiana, being extremely hot during the summers, working in a hot mm. kitchen was one of the worst jobs you could have as a slave. So we was trying to find her way back out, preferably back here into the home. And an opportunity for that presented itself right to her. She was going to bake the cake for the children's party that year. Because that would allow her to add in her own special ingredients. Uh, so she worked in the okay. kitchen on yep. the kid's birthday. She decided to put just a little bit of poison in a cake that she was making. <gasps> oh so that they would God. get a bit sick and she could nurse them back to hell so it looked good on her part. Two of the owner's kids and his wife ended up dying due to the poison. Oh! oh. What the... And then what is that? That's Amanda, dog. Oh, I couldn't even tell. Oh my. I saw something. Nah, that is 
and just <laughs> killing the kids and the wife. She was like, fuck this kitchen. I'm trying to get back. This is some bullshit. But was that intentional? Yes. She intentionally got poisoned so that when the kids got sick, she could nurse them back to help. Oh, and the it would kids look good. to help. Okay. Yes. But then they ended but up dying. But she didn't instead. intend for them to die. Gotcha. Yeah, they okay. ended up dying because they what swallowed I poison. That's rough. That shit's not funny. <laughs> I don't know what this plant is called. Oh, oh man. You're right. Did you just study for this? Like a test? I don't know what we're going to do. It's all about this on the internet. But a lot of people don't know there are 48, 48 known toxins inside of the seeds, the roots, oh, the leaves, yeah. the plants, GGs. and everything. Two of these leaves? Enough to kill a full grown horse in about an hour. Oh. I just don't lick it. If I just popped all those leaves in my mouth, it would make you extremely ill immediately. Oh, do it for the viewers. Really? Do it for no. No. <laughs> We've already got thirteen spirits. We don't need a fourteen. Thirteen. This place would rage if I was a spirit. The owner was out of town at the time. So Chloe went over to the other slaves and said, oh my gosh, this plan did not work. What do we do? Now, all the other slaves didn't want to be blamed, so they all decided collectively to hang Chloe and throw her into the Mississippi River. The Holy shit. The slaves official trial for her. Found her guilty of three counts of murder, marched her down to the Mississippi River, and hung her from a tree for her crime. So now Chloe resides here back at the plantation Damn. and is one of the most active ghosts here. She's known to do a lot of different things, but the main thing is stealing things from people, specifically mm. earrings. Chloe is my friend. Wait, your friend? What do you mean? Oh, when I worked there, me and Chloe used to steal earrings with each other all the time. What? <laughs> she steals huh? people's earrings because she only has one, so you only get one. When I was doing two or three, oh. I would lose the earring, okay. and I would always go back in the house and have to find it randomly tucked in the chandelier. <laughs> Or what the in the... And there's a display case in there that I used to take all the earrings and I would collect them and put them in a display case right by the haunted mirror and people could see the earrings that she's stolen through time. Oh my god, wait, all these are just earrings. Mm. Oh my so gosh. Chloe's treasure chest. And a lot of people report waking up in the middle of the night to Chloe standing at the foot of the bed. Mm. Bitch! Now, <laughs> now I gotta put the fucking bed on the goddamn door. <laughs> Mother Fuck! Yo, he just left. Damn! Oh my god. Give me this fucking bitch. Get up. Get up. Yo, I'm snacking and I don't even care. You got that. Mm. Not that damn. Side of the downstairs. <laughs> If y'all only saw what he was doing. Y'all gonna see I'm gonna post it in the damn, um, what's that thing called? Community tab. Y'all gonna see. Ah. Y'all gonna see a before and after <laughs> and of why this shit goes up. I'm looking in the just darkness over there. No, it. that's why anytime you guys catch us talking and then I look over there, he gets mad at me. From now, from now on, ain't going to be no no paranormal activity video watch. And this ain't up here or something. Some drapes. Not even drapes because I don't even want to see it. Just... The covers or something. Yeah, curtains. this this one going to be. This one going to be. With a candle <laughs> looking down. Shit. So imagine how creepy that is if tonight we wake up like that. Why would you say that? <laughs> Do you believe Sarah Matilda wants this place? I do. I just don't think she has as active a, of a role as some of the other ladies of the house. I think that's who I saw. So she would have been lady of the house here during that time frame. Which lady exactly, of the house. Exactly who I thought she was. She was like the madam of the house is what I said. While she was telling a story about like the poisoning, I don't know if you guys got extremely hot also, but the entire temperature of this building changed to me and I got like furious. Oh my but god. But I know oh. it's not like my feelings. She was like here and she was so mad. And I don't know if it's because of her being poisoned and her, her and her children being murdered. Oh, this is the one that's okay. true. As I don't know. She's okay. What's crazy, Sarah Matilda Girl is known to be one of the spirits trapped in that haunted mirror right here. Wait, she's trapped in it? Yeah, like there's three spirits, mm. two kids that died, and then the wife. So if you were to see Sarah Matilda, it would be right here. It was right Wait a here. minute, why? That's crazy in itself. Why the kids? That. I don't know. 
Oh, that's there's interesting. That if a spirit saw its own reflection in a mirror or anything like that, that it could become trapped inside that reflection forever. Oh, so shit. whenever somebody died, they would lay thick black cloths over every mirror so that no spirit could see its own reflection. Dude, that's like Willisca at her house mm. in a nutshell. This particular mirror is actually original to the home that was finished in 1796. Wait, Ooh. this is original? Original, which means Damn. it's been here for every tragedy, too, that's ever struck. Okay. Um, right here, you can see the profile of a woman. Her neck, chin and lips, her nose, and the hat on her head. Oh, colors. wow, yeah. It's actually kind of like beautiful. Where is mm -hmm. this marks from? That's just it. We're not sure. Because <laughs> if you take a look on the other side, too, you'll see fingerprints and toe prints that are embedded in the right over here. Toe prints? Mm -hmm. so oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the top toe, one, There's two, three, four. Above that. Hand smudge right there, yeah. And then all the drips that hang down, which sometimes show up with a red hue. Oh! Oh, oh freaking oh. Oh. <laughs> This mirror has actually been resold or pulled back in the place ten times. And every time, within a year and a half, these markings show up in the exact same places that they're in now. What? That's well, freaking like how sick. They That's clean sick. that mirror, refurbish it, all of that, just for it to resort back to what it was. Well, the mirror That's itself. That's insane. I've never heard of anything like Let that. Let me hear that again, because maybe, maybe no, I didn't, maybe no, I didn't no. hear what she said. Like, re-silvered. Re-silvered. Okay. So, uh. like, touched up. Yeah. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh freaking oh. right. <laughs> this mirror has actually been re-silvered, whole back in place ten times. And every back time, within a year and a half, these markings show up in the exact same places that they're in now. What? Well like how could that even happen? Yeah. That's just it. We don't know. Another name for this room is the Lady of the Houses room. And with how much Chloe knew, how close she was with the kids, started to kind of see herself like that behind the scenes. And to be honest, she kind of was. Oh, I just got chills. <laughs> <laughs> That's a freaky role to play. Yeah. There was a belief that spirits would hide in the corners of rooms and come out to play at night. So these were installed to watch the corners and keep the spirits at bay. Oh but there's a problem. There are three cherubs on the base of that chandelier. Typically, more than three corners in a room. There's always one corner that's unwatched. Now, I personally oh. watched this chandelier spin, so I'm pretty sure Chloe just chooses what? her corner. Oh, yeah. Okay. So if it's facing her corner, she moves it. Which and one's her corner? Right back there. Oh. People would feel the cold spot in that corner. People have been pushed out of that corner. Oh, and if you look underneath it, that didn't the like floors, that, which no. are original I know to it's home, fake. by the way, you'll see scratch marks and scuff marks directly beneath No, it just chair. pissed me oh, off. Yeah, <laughs> scratching back and forth from just the chair moving. Oh my god. Is there anything Chloe gets you know, triggered by or something that we could do to like maybe entice her to want to talk to us? Most of the time, the responses that we get from somebody who seems like her are in response to pop culture. Funny enough, I'm pretty mm. sure she's just pretty up with the times at this point. One of our tour guides was doing a history tour in here about a year ago and she was talking about the chandelier, but she noticed that all 30 people on her tour were watching the sleigh bed behind her and saw that the sheets were unfolding themselves in the middle of her tour. Oh my god. Oh. She is also known for making the doll on the mantelpiece smile. What? Wait, that one? That one. Sometimes she'll blink. Both features are painted on. Imagine it blinks right now. How? What? Mm -hmm. That clock no, that the uh, high priest of voodoo was telling us about that dinged 13 times. Yeah. Isn't that it? On the mantle of the fireplace? That's probably the it. 13. The AC clock is not original to the house, and it sits on top of the fireplace in the ladies' parlor. And I was given a tour there, and I placed my hand on top of the fireplace, and it started changing. And I'll never forget, I, and something said, count the time. When it got to 12, I was like, okay, it's going to stop. <laughs> and it timed that last 13th time, and it just like Ding 13 times and she said there's 13 spirits. Spirits. Isn't 13 like a bad luck number too? It is. Hmm. Mm. Oh, you didn't have to. We got dinner served for us. Let's freaking go. I just say don't try the cake, personally. <laughs> and this room is visited by a lot of the different spirits, but it's primarily visited by the children's spirits here. Now, when our current owners here first purchased this place, they actually lived inside the home for a little while, and they had two little boys. And at one point, one of the little boys had actually approached their mother saying, Can I swing on the chandelier? I what? Really wish I could have seen what in the... Uh... When he asked that question, but of course she said no. And she asked why. He said the little blonde haired girl's doing it. Oh, oh chills, dude. Oh my god. Facts. Oh. There's more energy 
in the next room. And if you are sensitive to it, you're going to feel it. Mm. Oh. <laughs> now, it usually shows up as lightheadedness or dizziness, sometimes nausea. I will ask that if you do start to feel this way, please do cross over, because I've already had three people pass out and one person have a seizure on my tours. <gasps> oh. and Holy like crap. Crazy. Nate, you want to go first? <laughs> this is it right here. That's it? Who's going first? Right. Oh. Oh. Motherfucking <laughs> I don't like that he did. <laughs> it's not funny, Nate. No feet picture. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll blur it. <laughs> Not for the free. Like, 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 <laughs> seance room. Like what? You know, it's funny you say that. Oh god. The reason that we consider this the psychic center of the home goes back to one of our previous owners. She was known as the town's crazy because she said her house was haunted, and she was desperate to prove it, so she started holding seances in this. Of room. course. Okay. So she opened something. Of she didn't know how to god, say of on. course. Oh my god. And it's only amplified by the two mirrors between the ladies' that... clothes. Started holding seances in this room. And we're pretty sure she opened something she didn't know how to close. Oh my god. And it's only amplified by the two mirrors between the ladies' parlors and gentlemen's parlors facing each other. Oh god, so they're standing in a vortex right now. Guys. A vortex! Amanda, how do you feel in here? Um, I like can't breathe. It no. feels really? like somebody is hugging me so tight that like I can't open my mm. lungs. I can't believe they actually held seances in this goddamn. And they had the mirrors just so like we said, there were probably Casually. dozens of murders she didn't even that know. on this plantation. However, the one documented murder was of William Winters. Mm. William Winter was an owner of the plantation for many years, but the reason he haunts this house is because of this specific story. In 1871, he was teaching a class Sunday school downstairs when he heard outside somebody saying, I need an attorney, which he happened to be. William wasn't expecting anybody any kind of client or anything, but this sounded more like an emergency. The man sounded desperate, so William stood up and he went through the French doors that are right back there to stop the man. So he walks up to his front porch and he says, hey, I'm an attorney. And a mysterious voice asks, are you William Winters? To which he replies, yes, that's me. And before he could do anything else, he was oh. shot in the chest, point blank with a oh. shot. The rider reached into his- This is why you should never like, if a stranger asks, like, if this is who you are at your house, you have to be really careful. Really, really careful. I would be like, no, this is Jason Aldean. <laughs> <laughs> Gunk apartment. <laughs> You're stupid. Stop. <laughs> if y'all know the reference, y'all get it. Oh. If you don't, you're too young. You're too young. Oh. Okay. So this is how you gonna do me? Shotgun, he shot William Winter twice in the chest, pulling him back in through the doors. In through the doors? The doors. Well, that is insane, what a shotgun though. But he knew he did not have much time, so the one thing he wanted was to go see his wife. So after hearing all the commotion, William Winter's son guided him through the house and up the stairs where his wife was. Now his wife met him on the 17th step, and at that oh, moment, they damn. each other, and he died in her arms. Oh, wow. That, step, that William collapsed into the arms of his wife and drew his final breath. Wow. 17 step up. 17 step up, third down from the top. It's a very, very sad story, but that's why we wanted to mention it because the staircase right behind us is where it happened. And to make this sad story even more sad, Sarah Winters, the wife, was rumored to die of a broken heart just a few years later. Mm. So Damn. Sarah, specifically, that staircase, the 17th step, is very active for paranormal investigation. People still hear those footsteps all the way up to the 17th, and they hear loud in the silence. Someone cheated in a game of poker. Well, that's just it. So the death of William Winter is still an unsolved murder to this day. There's a lot of theories out there, and one of them is that he was a really bad cheater at cards and had racked up a lot of debt. And oh, okay. that sounds like a very strong... It's even worse. A few years before his death, the Winters family had a daughter. Her name was Kate Winters. She came down with yellow fever, and as we said earlier, that is a very gruesome death. Especially for kids. Yeah, I can... Help imagine, I can imagine her body like not being able to fight that. Like not and knowing what to do in that. Her you body just, just have to live. her immune system just wasn't strong enough to fight it. It's so sad. All right. Everywhere that they could think of to try to make her better and nothing was working. If you look at this side of her face, she still looks pretty healthy, right? Her hair is curly, very tight curls, cheek is rosy, but then you switch the side you see. 
Oh, God. Oh, Woo. yeah. Completely different. Even her arm oh. is shrinking from the oh. bush. Legend has it that in their final attempts to save their daughter, they brought out a voodoo priestess. <gasps> she did everything in her power, and the priestess said, yeah, no, Kate is saved. She should be good, and she went about her way. The next day, Kate Winters died. So obviously oh. they were very upset. So as punishment for her failure, they went out to find this priestess and hanged her. Now this voodoo priestess is named Cleo and is still rumored to haunt this place to this day. So there's a Chloe and a Cleo and a Cleo and a Chloe? Cleo and a Chloe. How the hell are we supposed to know a Cleo and a Chloe and a Cleo and a Chloe? reported seeing an older lady that would have been dressed the way that Cleo was around the property from time to time. All the spirits here can go wherever they want in the plantation, but Kate died in William Winter's room. So allegedly a lot of people have gotten activity specifically in that room, which oh. we're gonna try later tonight. Kate is known for her hijinks, like jumping on people's beds in the middle of the night, mm. running up and down hallways, giggling at 3 a.m., all the creepy kid stuff, yeah. Pretty much Kate in a nutshell. Oh, wow. Perfect. Us and Absolutely. Perfect. Are just not compatible. <laughs> there's two just what we need. Oh, my God. But this is actually one of her favorite rooms, probably because her portrait's here. And she loves her story being told. Oh, and if we don't tell it fast enough, she starts writing about the great on that door. Which is what she does. Just a closet. Oh, perfect. He's been tapping like the entire time we've been in here. I know. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, God. That is clean. <gasps> oh! You see the hand. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. That is actually terrifying. It looks just like her. Literally just like her. The hair. Yeah, everything. everything. What the fuck is going on? She has a lot of hair for a two year old. <laughs> That's good. That's I mean, facts. Facts. Ready? Is that a baby? Shut up, baby. Knowing that there's a lot of sex Shut, Shut up, up baby. baby. Excited. Let's grab some earrings. Just in case during this investigation, she also don't know, pluck one off. Ooh. Amanda, maybe you should do the hoops. She said that Chloe really likes hoops. So you just want me to get touched by Chloe? Why don't you wear the hoop? Oh! <laughs> Facts. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh my god, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're gonna get laid by me, Kyle. Tickle your neck when you shave your hood. What the fuck? Let's see yours. Whoa! Nice! Wow. So I like those earrings. Oh, the chain Wow! Oh, oh, she's she's gonna steal that. She's gonna steal that. Let's see yours. Okay! Okay! okay. Are Shake them! Shake them for me! Oh! oh. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, that's I really what... enjoy balls hitting me in the face. Tonight, we're gonna do a very serious paranormal investigation. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's so much creep. Oh, I just got scared. I cannot believe she said this chandelier was like going in circles. It's real cold in here, though. It got way colder. It's like yeah. real cold in here. I think you need to talk like this. Just a little. <laughs> <laughs> just so you guys are aware, I'm just. <laughs> character, he popped his hip and put his hands out, and then boom, immediately. <laughs> this room is apparently Chloe's favorite room, and she's spotted oftentimes in that corner. Mandy, you said you had some new techniques. Yeah, I've just been taking time trying to learn different techniques to bring spirits forward to us in safe ways, and I feel like I've got some good ones. Okay. So, okay. Wait, I get one specially for me? Wait. No, those are for them. Oh. This is a crystal. It's called angelite. They say that it helps open your third eye, helps you open to like communication with the other side. Oh, so it's okay. thought, well, you're trying to work on your empathic skills right now. Yeah. That's a great crystal. That's to perfect have. for you. Ooh. In case Colby gets possessed. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Not Colby. <laughs> I brought all of them here. They're little bracelets. Oh, little these are anti eyes. anti possession these bracelets. Are evil eyes. You guys are just because I felt bad getting something for Colby and not for you guys. She has a favorite. Wow. Well, that's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna need this more than Colby will need this. True. It's to protect you from evil energy. It's basically like a return to sender kind of crystal. Yeah, yeah you need that for little girls in your ass. Dude, little girls have exited my ass. <laughs> <laughs> So that's what I brought for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no, thank you so much. Oh, that's very gosh. thoughtful. Super safe. Of course, hopefully it helps us. So with all that being said, let's uh, start this investigation. Balls in the face. Balls in the face. <laughs> okay. Look at this. 
and it's getting starting to go up. It's getting stronger too. On the floor too, with nothing around it. Right underneath the chandelier. Mm. This is the floors from the original house. Like the floors are the same. Then back on the floor. Nothing goes changed. Back up to orange. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa! There is no electricity right there. Why would anything be electrical in a chair? Is there anything in here possibly? Mm. No, dude, that is a chair, like an wow. antique chair. There's no way. Yeah, that thing's like 200 years old. Wow. <gasps> Where is it the strongest? Wait, like at her, at her head. Listen, listen, listen. Oh, it's outside. Can you see anything right there? Um, it feels super heavy over here. I don't see anything. Don't see anything? Over here, it felt so heavy just ever since we came in. So I just wanted to bring it over and see if there was anything over here. Most of the time, the responses that we get are in response to pop culture. Who's your favorite artist right now in pop culture? I don't know, man. I, uh... Do you like Justin Bieber? Easily. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Bieber! <laughs> Dude. It's on on the bed. Literally constantly. Chloe, if you walk past this, we'll, we'll know. The music will go off. And we heard you're up with the times somehow. And we would love to know your thoughts on like the pop culture stuff going on. We also have plenty of new fashionable earrings. Uh, so if you'd like to take one for yourself, feel free. <laughs> Yeah, it's cold there. Huh? Wait, well, did you guys just cold right here? Want to see what I wrote down because I heard this? Behind you. Like, behind me. Behind you? And, like, I've been faced this way for a long time. And I just heard something creak right there. That's so crazy. Wait, what did- oh, what? Wait, is there, oh, oh, it's that it. shit. Okay, I'm like, there's literally cold air blowing on my face right now. <laughs> oh! Dude, I thought something was blowing. Plan. Oh my god, that doesn't make any sense. On a couch. That doesn't make any sense. Please, someone debunk that for me. Chloe, if you were sitting on this couch, could you tap the flashlight right next to you and just let us know you're here. Chloe, Chloe, Chloe of this house, we want to talk to you right now. If you're here and you're open and willing to communicate, now's your chance. We're guests in your home. We don't live here. This is your place and we understand and respect that. We want to talk to you. We don't just want you to listen to us. If that's something that you're open and not afraid of doing, can you turn on that blue flashlight? It's right here on the couch. You might not know what a flashlight is now that I'm saying it out loud. You can go up and tap it, sit down next to the couch, do anything like that. Everybody here has also said that there's not like a most haunted room. She might just not be in here too. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot okay. of places she could be. It could be something else. Aside from here. <gasps> All right. I, I touched that. You touched that. I think. You think? I think I touched it. You would know if you touched it. Right? It hit my hand. Are you holding the camera though? No, I, I was reaching up. It hit my hand, but I, I don't know. I might have hit it off. Dude, forget that. <laughs> Shauna told us an hour ago that some woman was like reaching up, touched it with her left hand, dropped it, caught it with her right, and then said, oh, hell no, and tossed it. And oh, <laughs> that is exactly the same. <laughs> 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 ah, fuck, dude, you can keep it. Why should we all leave one? Yeah, what, what the fuck was, was that? that? Fuck, dude, you can keep it. Why should we all leave one? Yeah, what, what the fuck was, was that? that? There was like a voice. Oh my god! Maybe it was. I think we to say stay till the end because we are trying a new experiment that we've never done before because of how famously active this place is. It's kind of scared by a lot. The hell is this what they call what? You ain't gonna That's sell them. Oh. Y'all just gonna throw them in the dust like that? That's bold. That's fucked up. But hey, but someone had to do it. <laughs> someone had to do it. Text in here. Yeah, the psychic center of the house. I keep seeing things behind me. The left is falling. Oh. In between this wall and this set of candles, there's somebody. Oh, what? I just saw a child. What? What? Street in between here and here. One that was higher up that like literally I know it was a kid, but it was too tall to be a kid And then the third one was in between Colby and I. Oh my god. Just all through this mirror right now Should like, I turn what? this off? I my intention. That's crazy. Like are when you, you do that. It? Are you feeling it? No, I'm watching that, but I can feel it like I have full I wonder what they're doing. Right I was wondering what they're doing. You're so insane. And I think that if we did like a seance, the seance table, it could be fucking gnarly. Because mm. there's a lot of people us, there. You can mm. talk through this device right here. Hello. 
Was that an immediate hello? <laughs> hello. Oh! Hello. That was a girl. I'm over here. Is there any sign you can give us of who we're talking to? A name or an occupation? <gasps> hey! Did it say Kate? I wrote Kate right before it said that. Is it true that this room is a portal? Oh, what? Portals are associated with evil. Are in here right. with us right now? Three. three. That, was, that was a clear three. Wait, was that Chloe? Me? Look. Chloe, what have you done? That candle just got so bright on the far end. Did you oh, see it? Yes. Oh my. Extremely. Okay. It's flickering now. When we were in Chloe's room and we thought we were talking to Chloe, I heard light. Chloe, light. Over and over again, I kept hearing light. So I've underlined it, written it twice. I heard it more than that oh. in the room. And when we thought it was Chloe and you said, look, we heard look, I looked into the mirror and that's when I saw the light flickering. Way oh. brighter. Oh. Oh. It's so much brighter. It's almost like confirming mm -hmm. like what you're saying. Yeah. Thank you. In case it was Kate, the little girl. I'm so I, I know like they're not gonna believe it, but that just went off and we What was I that? Heard, I heard you that. Know, this is very active. Yeah. Look, you remember how she said they were like prankster spirits too? Yeah. It could have just seen that I stopped recording too, and then that's when it was like, alright, now I'm gonna yeah, do it. Well, because it was like a kid. It was immediately I just only stopped for like two seconds. That just like makes me confused though, because it could be Chloe or we said that house was a big four Kate and that was the only thing that I mean any spirit could be walking around here. Any spirit could be here because of this vortex. I think the reason that we're kinda of confused is because like we're right, Kate's definitely here. Chloe is definitely here. William is definitely here. So I think that there are so many spirits coming through right now that mm. it's really hard to keep a conversation with just one of them. Yeah, we okay. just asked them how many spirits are here and it's three yeah. like immediately after. William, 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 we're looking to talk to you right now and only you. Are you here with us? I'm Kate. I'm Kate. I'm Kate. I'm Kate. Like, clear. Oh. Kate. William and Kate, we are to move to another spot in the house. Will you continue talking with us tonight? <gasps> oh! oh my, oh my god! So and it was a dude's now, voice. If he literally said, I'm with Kate, and that we are talking to William in order to, like, I don't know, get him to show himself more. What if we just do, like, one of those trigger events where we remind him what happened to him? Yes, it's rumored that if you, like, reenact how he died, he'll show himself more. Time to reenact a murder. Mm. Oh lord. <laughs> oh. And on the eighth day, brothers, the good lord invented double stuffed Oreos and said Ooh. it is good. William Winter, I'm in need of an attorney. Why, well, yeah, I'm an attorney. Is it true? <laughs> <laughs> William Winter? He is I. Oh my god. Look at Nate's face. <laughs> William. <laughs> look at Amanda. Oh, look at these two two dots right here. I can't, I can't, I can't. No, I'm just kidding, I should have played. Are you okay? I should have slept with your sister. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, these goofies, man. Oh okay, my so god. This is but it might. Winter's room where yeah, I'm talking. Kate has not died in this bed. <laughs> Shit in the closet, Nate. Oh, fuck. Hey, just two guys in a closet, hey, guys. Just yeah. you and I in here. Shit. I'm a in this hole. I see your little finger. Oh, <laughs> well, your winter is open the door. Um, what's the password? Jesus. Cleo. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't even know that shit. What's well, Cleo? Yes. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's get it. As the night went on, the house became more and more active. Oh, nice. Camp, well, we are so far away from and you. Were recording again? Again, not recording. Dude, it's these trickster spirits, man. I mean, that's yes. And they just keep doing this to us. Wasn't it Kate before? Oh, oh, okay. Good. Boom, boom, boom. What the heck does that? Is Kate in there? Oh my 
Oh, oh she's following so them. <laughs> Wait, okay, so no one move. If that is the Winters family, can you turn that on one more time? One, two, three. Devil's advocate, Kate wouldn't know her last name. <laughs> Smart. Yeah. That's what it said. I'm here with I'm Kate. Kate. With Kate. 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 Wait, yo. Yeah, it's Kate. Kate. Okay. That is oh. insane. We are 20 feet away. If this is Lillian Kate, will you go ahead and snap that light off? Oh. Uh. Oh my lord. Kate oh my Hunter lord. would have been sitting in this bed while the voodoo priestess sat over her. That's her so insane. Bed. Cleo, if you're here, will you please make yourself known or hit any of our equipment besides the cat ball? Whoa. Kate, are you still here? Dude, it was going off every second. It stopped as soon as we all got close. I feel like my like fight or flight has totally kicked in. It's some anxiety. Yeah, where I'm super oh. anxious and I'm waiting for something to like... Happen. Mm, okay. To me, this cat ball not going off now just solidifies that evidence so much more. Mm -hmm. Other people could be like, oh, maybe it's like, you know, janky or something like that. Mm. And now, obvious. No, that's true. Like, oh, because you're walking around the house like it's Sunday vibration. Get the cat, cat ball. are you gonna do the estes method? Dude, this cat has been hanging out exactly where Chloe was like the entire time we've been here. The fact that we actually are the only ones at this place, all the workers are gone, and it's like a different vibe now. It's like mm. a horror movie. Speaking yeah. of, we're gonna split up. That's like, so every minute, sick. Let's do it, oh. guys. Set timers now. Let's get started. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Guys, because it is Hell Week, we are doing something super special and making Explore Club only one dollar to join. That means you can get all of our exclusive videos, more investigations, and daily feed posts for literally $1. One dollar! One dollar! Use code HELLWEEK right now. Also, we are on the road to 10 million subscribers! So go subscribe! It's free on your end, so why not? Okay. Uh. Oh my god. Oh. Out of all of those, what would you rather do? The room. Be, the room? I'd be next to the picture, I think. I still creep myself out, but like, I don't to know. To be honest, I ain't doing none of these. We just gonna Well, no, none, none of them. <laughs> none of them. But I if I had to I ain't doing it. No, no, no. I'm not doing this, though. Literally Ever alive, not just walked life. inside, and I heard a full-on creak from that door. Definitely being alone in this place is really creepy. 17th step and then this haunted mirror all in the same area. Literally Amanda this morning saw somebody standing next yeah, to the grandfather. Standing, yeah. We heard so much commotion from Chloe's room right here. All right guys, so I get to be in William's room by myself in the complete darkness. Come over here. Complete darkness. Oh. Oh. I've got some information. No way! Right off the bat, we're already just immediately talking. What type of information do you have? Let's go. Chloe, is it you that I'm talking to? Chloe, did you put yourself at risk to get that information? Ready? Hmm? Ready. <gasps> oh. Yeah, okay. he turned it off. Oh, oh my god. I keep scaring myself. That's just the shock. Oh reflection. my god, dude. Oh shit, I hate this. Staring into a haunted mirror. You know how earlier she was like, multiple times this mirror has been re-silver. Seen everything. Yep. However, all the markings reappeared in the exact same locations. Either they're trapped inside the actual mirror and the mirror is haunted, or what if this mirror behind it is actually just a portal? And that is why oh. coming through makes the same markings. You hear footsteps, right? Just a little bit, just a little bit. Something was just behind me. What? Oh. Things outside of him. Oh, chills. Hello? And then, we haven't used this <sighs> yet. Ow, are you kidding me? Oh my god, oh my god, it's going off. I don't know, can you even see that? Yo, you can see that. It went off again, I don't know, was it because I kicked that? I don't think this is even connected over there. Yeah, it's not connected. Lock, lock, lock. I cannot make it go off. Chloe, okay. was it you that they photographed so, uh, in this alley right here? Accident. You didn't intend to be in the photo. 
I was dude, something just touched me. Just like we did as Zach mm. Bates. I thought a, I thought a stinking went. bug got her. She the said something she moved, touched she me. She went. I would have thought it was a mosquito. I... <laughs> ah. Just like we did in Casaloma earlier this year. I'm going to try the scrying method. <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah, hell no. I see myself. But a lot sadder version. It actually looks like I'm crying. Mm. It's just a crick. The right side of my face is like drooping. Sarah, Matilda, mm. James, Cornelia, or even Chloe. If you want to show yourself. Now's the time. Assault. Oh my god. Oh. Mm. I was like, what do you mean assault? Jumped. Jumped. Did anybody who got assaulted and jumped? Cleo. Are we talking about Chloe? Was she Maybe, jumped yeah. and assaulted? Yeah. After had she to told be. the Art, other slaves Art what she Chloe. did to the kids? I got chills all over my fucking body. If there's a spirit here that is with me, show yourself. Through this mirror. One. Two. Three. Oh. No, 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 no. That wasn't him. His hands. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, thought his hands were behind his back. Oh, shit. Sorry, guys. I thought he had his hands behind his back. Yeah, we can't see anything at all. Chloe, does guilt keep you here? I knew it was wrong. Oh my goodness, I think mm, that we should use an in. object. I think I know exactly what you're thinking to use. Yes, ma'am. William Winter, it's Poison. just me now. Oh, mm -hmm. well, it could have been it's a poison. Not the word. Else. Sign. Are you gonna give me another sign that it's somebody else? Like it's someone else? Touch. Oh my god. I'm gonna keep the camera right here. I'm gonna turn on two flashlights. One on the stairs in case something comes down, and then one right here next to the mirror. If anything is here with me right now, you can touch these flashlights. they will turn on and let me know that you're here with me. Oh my god. The cracks in this mirror. Oh <gasps> shit! Right after that, it, I was about to say this makes me look like I'm about to cry. This is a family member that's trapped next to this mirror. Can mm. you come up next to this red flashlight and turn it off? Oh! Wait, what, 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 what did you hear? What did you hear? Oh, it is the poison. It was the family name. It was the family name. Woodruff? Did you just hear Woodruff? Are you trying to tell us about the Woodruff family? It just went... Silent, like dead, completely silent. Oh! Full Mississippi, and then started again. Oh my gosh, it's like, dude, the minute you put the object in place, it becomes intense. After doing a bunch of research, oh, on this place, we I don't like that. No, I don't. <laughs> I, I also don't, don't like, like how I can kind of like see her. Not that I can see her eyes, but just the like, uh, what are those called? The indentations oh, the, of her eyes. The bulges of her eyes. Yeah, yeah I was looking at mind. it too. It's scary. This shit is so scary. I hear our benevolent spirits, but if there's a portal, if there's a vortex downstairs, couldn't anything enter here whenever it wanted to? If I'm talking to somebody else besides William, you said you would give me a sign by touch. I'm here by myself. Why don't you come like tap my shoulder, tap my leg? Let me know that you're here with me. You're a child spirit that was here, a family member that's trapped here. Can you turn on one of these flashlights one more time? Just turn it on and I'll know that you're one of the two children. Oh, oh my god! Okay. Dude. okay, my main question. Oh! This one too! Double flashlights, there might be more people joining. Okay, please, I really want to know, are you actually trapped here? If you are trapped and you cannot leave this mirror, please turn off one of these flashlights. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh -oh. oh, immediately, immediately. Oh, oh. You know that one too, back to back. It was in the house. Are you tired? Oh my gosh. I'm exhausted. Yeah, I'm exhausted. Chloe, I hope you don't mind. We've got Oriander in Amanda's hand. Uh, I, you know, was the death oh. an accident or was it an act of revenge? I think we talked oh. downstairs. Oh. That's Reveals. a clipping. Wheels. Gateway. He revealed himself at the gateway. St 
step. Guys, that makes so much sense to me. Or maybe that wasn't William and that was somebody else trying to give me a sign of where the gateway is. Hmm. Feel. feel. This right here supposedly is gonna make me feel more, see more, become more empathic. Just like all of season two, that's what I was trying to really like learn how to do. Each time I go on an investigation, okay. the feelings get stronger. So mm -hmm. is what I'm holding right now going to help me feel? Oh, yep. of course. Mm -hmm. I have of with course right without so, fail. I have this theory that the mirror is actually representative of a portal. If that is true, can you turn off both of these flashlights, both of them? There's you heard one. that, right? Holy fuck, that was instant. It sounded like someone ah. screaming. I'm not oh, losing my mind, right? Actually, representative of a portal. If that is true, can you turn off both of these flashlights? Both of them. Right there. Mm, he didn't even. And then fuck, it turned it off. So if this is a portal. Oh my god! Two flashlights. So this is a portal. That I, I might have been right. Maybe they just confirmed that I'm right. It's time to wrap up. It's time to wrap up. Shh. I swear to god. That no sh What? It's time to wrap up. <gasps> oh my god. I'm thinking what they're trying to say is the danger here is the portal. You don't know who you're actually talking to okay. or what is inside. Just like they said, there could be other spirits that was just opened from a, from a portal. We have no idea. Boom. <gasps> Lights on. If that is correct, turn that off. And doing it God, as he's... Oh, Scott? my goodness. Tell us what you want. Back. Do you want back? Inside. You want, oh, Going you back want back inside, inside the house? Mm -hmm. Chloe, what happened to you? Fight. Fight. There was a true. fight between okay, you yeah. and some other people on this plantation. Is that true? Terror. Can't even hear river. it. River. It's just... That sucks. Chloe, do you know what river that you were thrown into? Oh, fuck was that? We're so sorry that this happened to you. They all left. Why do you stay here? I'm. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Are you okay? Yeah. Is her spirit in the cat? That's what I'm thinking. If her spirit is in the cat, that would be one of the like craziest fucking... Because he said I'm and then the cat walked past right after he said mm. that. So maybe she's hinting that her spirit is inside the cat and earlier... They even mentioned that the cat was around there. It didn't leave. Correct? Possibly. That's my theory? Possibly. I could definitely see. You could definitely make an argument about that. Yes. But we're going to have to watch a little bit more. If you guys have made it this far, let us know your favorite part in the comment section of this video. What was like the goosebumpy part for you or just one part that you found interesting from the history behind it. Let us know. Or if you want, also, comment down a ghost emoji. Just oh, yeah, a ghost spooky, emoji. Spooky. Yeah. Yes. Right. You guys definitely talked to Chloe? No doubt. She was saying things like accident. I mean, at one point she literally said that she wanted back in house. So I don't know if I was talking to William Winter himself. Oh, she I wants back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And got 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 Just one time. It sounded like it was a spirit that was maybe just like telling me what he knew. Like it said that somebody was like assaulted by getting jumped, which I assume they could have been talking about Chloe. And then I was just like, am I talking to William? And it said, it's else, like it's someone else. Let me show you a sign, sign touch. And then I was like, maybe one of them felt like they got touched. Or oh, I got touched. You did? My dead ass got touched out there. Like, oh, swear. She did. Maybe yeah. at the same time. Was like, something just fucking yeah. touched. Holy just ignored it. I was talking about where he died uh -huh. specifically, and it said gateway at the step. Bro, yeah. that, that aligns perfectly with Oh, me. yeah, that's right. We didn't hear his audio. Asked, Damn. presented a theory that instead of this mirror being the haunted object, it is a representation of the portal that was started on the other side of this wall. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Gotta, like gotta, this gotta, video, gotta, gotta, please gotta. give it an actual like. Go down there and like it because you guys get this to 300,000 likes. You're going to go to one of the most haunted houses in the world. It's right there. Just do it right Just now. Free. Don't even think about it. Just do it. Just don't don't even think about it. Down there. <laughs> Check out these guys. Subscribe to them. We literally bring them to the most haunted spots ever. Thank you guys.
so much for doing this. Time to get to the experiment. We're gonna need mm, one of you guys to Let's get it! And open up your mouth. Huh? Excuse <laughs> me? Ah, me! <laughs> we need lots of blood. Why? <laughs> like, where did blood come from? So put it on the mirror to put it on the mirror. Is oh, hell no. Energy together, specifically electromagnetic energy, which is what is detected on these meters. And as you guys know, in this episode specifically, in Chloe's favorite room, this meter was going off crazily. So asking for Chloe, we want to conjure up, for lack of a better mm -hmm. word, Got it. electromagnetic energy. Makes sense. Okay. Makes sense. What if we connect all of our energy through copper wire? We wrap all of okay. us together, then do the Estes method as a group. Oh, yeah. shit. Oh, wow. Oh, this works. What? But we're saying if all our energy is connected, would we get better answers? Especially if Chloe is oh, showing wow. herself as Oh, wow. That would be interesting. Oh, I'm excited for this. Give them too much energy. Isn't that what we want for answers? We never think about the possible bad things that happen, and it ends up working out. Sammy, you don't have to do Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. The final experiment. Does that hurt your leg? Oh, she might be under already. No, oh, she just broke Colby! Wait, no, she didn't. Yes, yes. Dude, look, it's going off now. So it's underneath her leg and it's wrapped around This uh, crazy so ass contraption. The fact, how so. is there electromagnetic energy? There isn't anything electrical here at all. Oh, it's just what barely going circle? on. Oh, that's fucking scary. What is the circle that a man is drawing? Does it represent something? Portal? Oh! Portal! Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that you think about Rick and Morty, his thing is a circle. True. That is a portal. True. That, that is a portal. So like perfect your answers though were outside. They were similar, but with more ambiguity. Wait, let's ask it on quieter just in case you can hear us. I feel like that was not like it wasn't that too loud. Loud. Yeah. Like, could you say hey, something at twelve o'clock? What is that circle you're drawing? He's not He's not He's not. Yeah, who is he? Is there a name? Oh my gosh. Mm. Who is this? I'm up top. <gasps> up there? You up there? Step gateway. Are we speaking with- Are you ready? Call them. Uh, Chloe? The kids. Chloe, the kids. Anybody here at the Myrtles, please show yourself. I am. Oh, oh my god. Who? That was bad. Dude, that could be Cleo or Chloe. Both of the people that got dumped in Me. the river. This is spite. It spiked well, right after you said Chloe. It went to red. Now I'm just the messenger. <gasps> oh, the person, shit. The person that maybe was talking to me. You didn't know who it was, but it was telling you about the house. Exactly. Okay. Dude, this is making me like feel kind of sick being like chained to her. God. Is there some sort of portal leading in and out of this house at the Myrtle? That just spiked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said portal. It, it's been this spiked. This house? This house. This house. Wow. The entire house? Is that a portal? One moment. Yeah, take your time. Something. Are you targeting me because I have this? Because Amanda gave me this? Maybe they know I can feel more because I have a stone. Yeah. Hmm. Sounds like a man. Oh, that sounded like Latin. Latin. My name is John. John who? Did you live here at the house? I just want... What do you want? Cash. <gasps> Cash? Oh, the game. killed William Winters. Oh. In my conversation upstairs when I was talking about the death of William Winters, it said big deceit justice. Like oh, everybody's me. under deceit. Oh, oh me. Oh, uh, yeah. That means it's true. Job. That's true. Tell us. He lost in poker. Yeah. And he owed the money. Yeah. Damn, bud. Got him. fucked up. No, I'm just kidding. Got him. Clearly. Well, I assume she... Was it because of the death of the cash? Whoa. Is there something keeping you here? This. The circle? The portal? The Is portal? It? Are you talking about the portal? Is it what Amanda's drawing out? The portal? Is that what's keeping you here? John, Chloe, whoever we're speaking to. Is there a portal in the house? Here is. Here it is. Here it is, and she just went like this. On this floor. On this floor. On this floor, oh, the yes. mirrors. Stay? Wait, so the portal is forcing you to stay? She's nodding, she's nodding, she's nodding. We need help. They all get trapped in the mirrors. Something this way. 
How can we help you? I'm so cold. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. Is there something? I just heard a bell ding. This is fucking terrifying. Look, at yeah, we, if we, we can't even run if we wanted to. No. On five. On five? Oh shit. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> What did you just yell into Amanda's ear? Dear? Fear? Fear? Fear. The portal thing again. She said that was a portal. Oh my god. It's like a fear of the portal, I guess. I don't know. Say? The, I feel like this is, real quick, the most, like, descriptive, like, it's playing, like, it's play-by-play play right now. Like, it's just going in order. Yeah, without so, much, a break. so much shit has happened. It's <sighs> insane. Uh, you want us to stay? Or is the portal forcing you to stay? Yes. That's it. That's coming. And then they need help. But how do we help? Is there any way we... She. She is. She is. Chloe's trying to help. Is it Chloe they're talking about? Maybe. I mean, I don't know. What is that sound? What do you hear? Do you hear that? What do you hear? It's, it's like, like a scrape. It's like a scraping, I thought. That's her. No, it was like. So we know there's oh. a portal, basically one way, because it traps them here, and they need help. That's probably why this whole place is so haunted. It's mm. literally a one-way portal that mm. traps people. You see mirrors. Once you, you once you go through it, you can't go back. Did you see that? Oh fuck! Oh fuck! I hate that. Like a mat. Oh, oh. oh, sorry guys. Imagine like you're going through your portals, and then you go through one, and then you're stuck. But never knowing which one is a good one, which isn't a bad one. So mm -hmm. you're like literally playing with a gamble. Insane. <laughs> Get it, gamble. Cause that's nah, it. Yeah, because he lost. Yeah. What can we do? Did you see that? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I hate that. Show me. We're laughing at. Do you want to at you. Well, they're literally laughing. It's probably because we're wrapped up in copper water. <laughs> <in their house. laughs> yeah. It's probably the pranksters <laughs> like. What the hell are you doing? The, the, the pranksters Dude, laughing. Yeah, wow. You know what that just made me think of though is the scratches that keep showing up on the mirror even every single time they get like a new one. You know what I think we gotta do? First off. That would be me. <gasps> so, oh! Holy oh shit, that's that so quietly too. Here's what I think we gotta do. Keep it under. Put it in. $70. What is it? They keep talking about money. We got the person who might have killed William Winters. We got mm -hmm. Chloe to come through. Mm -hmm. We got proof that there's a portal and a proof that they need help because they can't leave. And that's impossible. Like, I don't know if we can. They can walk around the plantation, but they can't they leave. can't leave. Is that correct? Yeah. It all was. I got my spot. <gasps> oh! Literally chills again. Oh! Yo, oh yeah. my so god! You see yourself doing that, right? Yeah, 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 no, no, no. I do that to like help myself focus like, in. Oh, so like focus. Yeah. Okay, that's why she does. It's never been hollow in the middle. Like, it's also, always a black blob. We asked what you were drawing, and it said portal. Like it was like using that to represent portal. Why did you write Colby? Colby was the first thing I heard. And what's interesting is you also said you were talking to a messenger at one point, and I think I was talking to somebody that was some sort of messenger figure that was telling me about the story here. But I think we talked to multiple spirits that were all talking about just the same portal that they're trapped in and they can't get out of. I think we figured it out. But it's impossible for us to help them. So they are trapped right. here. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad they got to the bottom of this. Usually their investigations, they it's just so so much complex information they just aren't able to. It's the most clear they've ever So with that, yeah. I think we can oh, definitely yeah. say that Myrtle's Plantation yes. is one of the mm -hmm. most haunted places in America. Yes. Hope you guys are enjoying Hell Week. Please subscribe and turn on notifications for the next video. Adios. Woo! Naked baby child is actually an armadillo. An armadillo oh stupid. my god. <gasps> oh! That's crazy. That's a naked baby armadillo. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. That was really good. What a video oh. we had on our hands. No, that was, like I said, that was the most clear, like, evidence. It, it was just, like, back to back, like, telling, like, a story. Mm -hmm. And everything was lining up. They were able to, like, solve it without, you know, feeling, I don't know. They were just able to solve it. And it felt, I know that that had to feel so, so good because a lot of times in investigations, because the evidence, like I was saying, is so complex, it just makes it so hard to kind of like get that answer that you need to kind of figure out the rest of the puzzle. But mm -hmm. this was great. I enjoyed it. Every bit of it. Agreed. Um, so yeah. Well said. Yeah. You said that perfectly. Oh, yeah. Um, on to the next Sam and Kobe video or any other video that we react to. Yeah. Check out our playlist up top. 
You can check out our profile, see what other videos we got for you guys. Thank you for your love and support. And we are out of here. Peace, guys. See you in the next one. See you. Thank <laughs> you.